A couple months ago, I started to shoot a video on winter burning on conifers where you get this red needle scorch. I never finished the video, but this Al Johnson Jack Pine was going to be one of the examples. Well, about a week or so ago, I walked by, took a closer look, and it wasn't winter burning at all on this pine. It actually has an insect called scale. Now, if you look closely in here, you're going to see the scale. And it's an insect that sucks the sap right out of these needles and right out of the stems. Now, last fall, I did notice there was a lot of bees, there were ants, there were flies, which is kind of an odd thing. Where This thing was just swarming with different insects. And I, I observed and thought it was interesting, but lo and behold, what the scale insect is doing, it's sucking out the sap and excreting something called honeydew. Now, the insects are attracted to that honeydew because it's high in carbohydrates and they use it for their food supply. The other secondary thing that can happen from that honeydew is it leaves what's called a sooty mold. The mold starts growing on those excretions, so now you can get a black mold on top of the needles and that'll cut down on photosynthesis. So you've got kind of a double whammy. You've got the scale that's sucking the sap out and you've got that sooty mold reducing photosynthesis. The scale, apparently the best way to control it is by natural predators. Lady beetles would be one of the most common ones that everybody's familiar with. So the decision I have to make, even though I love observing the different things that happen in the landscape, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this plant because I've also got scotch pine, mugle pine, Austrian pine around the yard and they're susceptible to this scale as well. The research I did and what I think it is, pine tortoise scale. It's a scale, I just, I've never come across it before. The other scales that I'm more familiar with kind of leave a white residue and maybe that's why it wasn't on my radar. Your choices for control then are to eradicate or cut out the infected branches. This is pretty severe. I might have to remove the whole plant. You can also opt for chemical control. In the spring, you can spray insecticidal soaps or a systemic insecticide or the horticultural oils. But this scale, it's a tough one to control. They build that little shell on there and those insecticides are not very effective. So I'm gonna keep a sharper eye out for scale. I know I've got it in my landscape now and I've got a lot of nice specimen plants I don't wanna lose. I always hate to see a plant go and I love observing the insects, the bees, everything that happens, but at the same time, I'm not going to let it infect all the other plants. I hope you enjoyed this garden hike. Thanks for watching.